Isaiah 5 Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, who substitute bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and clever in their own sight. Proverbs 28 Those who reject the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law battle against them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than the rich whose ways are perverse. Anyone who turns his ear away from listening to the law, even his prayer is a detestable abomination. The one who leads the upright astray in an evil way will himself fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit what is good. The rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the one who is poor, who has discernment, sees through him. When the righteous triumph, there is great rejoicing. But when the wicked come to power, people hide themselves. A wicked ruler over a helpless people is like a roaring lion or a charging bear. A leader who is a great oppressor lacks understanding. But the one who hates dishonest gain will prolong his life. Anyone who is burdened with the guilt of human blood will be a fugitive until death. Let no one support him. The one who walks blamelessly with integrity will be helped. But the one whose ways are perverse, who distorts right and wrong, will suddenly fall. A faithful person will have many blessings, but one in a hurry to get rich will not go unpunished. When the wicked rise to power, people hide, but when the wicked are destroyed, the righteous flourish. First Peter 5 Therefore, I exhort the elders among you, as your fellow elder and witness of the sufferings of Messiah Christ, and a partaker also of the glory that is to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God among you exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but voluntarily, 
according to the will of God, not for the money, but eager to serve, nor lording it over those entrusted to your care, but by being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. You younger men, likewise, be subject to your elders, and all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another. For God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be of sober spirit. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him. Be firm in your faith, knowing that the same sufferings are being experienced by your fellow believers throughout the world. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself perfect, restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. The dominion belongs to him forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.